Whoop, whoop, I have to switch a microphone here. Tough act to follow. A little better. Hey, uh, congratulations on a great game tonight. Was that awesome? Thank you. I was telling Scott that he, he was on uh, national television when he sat down in the dugout and something happened that wasn't the most positive thing. You know, ball's headed over the wall and they're showing Scott and, and there he is. You know, they're wanting to see how he reacts. And here's a guy that you may have been churning inside, but you didn't show it on the outside. Uh, moments like that, that's when we need that piece that passes understanding. Uh, you're exactly right. That's that's absolutely 100% correct. Uh, you know, our uh, we didn't get it done today, but you know that's not the main focus. I think we go out there and do the absolute very best that we can, and and um, that's all we really have control over. And I, I felt like I. Um, did the best I could, and, and I know the guys that came in after me did the best they could. It just didn't work out today. Scott, take us back to the early days in your faith, because um, your relationship with Christ began many years ago, and it's real today, but it began many years ago. Um, first, I, I just I think I just have to be uh, eternally grateful to uh, the abundance of blessings that have, are in my life. Um, I was raised in a Christian home. It was not an option. We were going to church, and uh, I, I can't tell you um, how much I appreciate my parents for, for uh, providing that for me, providing that opportunity. Um, you know, obviously, I gave my I, my life to, to Christ at a young age, and, and uh, not only was it not an option, um, it, it was the best decision that I possibly could make. Um, you know, I think um, the way my faith uh, provides for me now is... I mean, Jesus is my rock and my redeemer, and he, he is absolutely uh, the center point of my life. I think as human beings, we have the uh, tendency to compartmentalize our lives, and I think he, he wants to be part of all parts of our lives. And anytime, uh, it's, it's, it's sometimes very hard to do, and especially in a game like this, uh, it's very demanding, very physically and very uh, emotionally and very mentally demanding. And uh, I honestly don't know how I would do it without my faith. Scott, we uh, really talk at chapel a lot about the importance of God's Word. Is there a favorite passage or a favorite part of God's Word, a favorite book that you turn to maybe more than others? Uh, you know what? I, I, I tell you what I do enjoy doing is is reading Paul's letters to the churches, um, yeah, especially in, in the message version of the Bible. It's a contemporary version. And just, just the... Um, I just can't imagine the, the situations that Paul went through um, and, and endured and persevered over. It just uh, it definitely gives you hope and gives you um, kind of insight and, and gives you peace um, in our daily lives. Scott, thank you so much. Thank you.